Hey friends, in this video, we will see how we can configure the McAfee agent uh, product uh, related policy. So for that, we need to just log in with the McAfee MVision cloud dashboard and uh, it is just asking the email ID, admin email ID, which needs to be entered over here. I'm just entering my email ID, info alias, uh, Amit dot Gupta at info alias dot com this is the email id which i use to sign up uh, with the mcafee envision cloud and uh, it's just asking the credentials over here and uh, i'm not going to save it at all i logged in with my m mcafee envision cloud uh, dashboard it's just uh, loading the things for the McAfee Envision. So uh, for the policy configuration for McAfee uh, agent product, so I need to go on the menu over here and uh, I need to go in the uh, policy catalog. In the policy catalog, I need to select the product over here. Here is the McAfee agent product and uh, I will configure the McAfee agent product policy. So I need to put the check over here, new policy. And in the new policy, it will just create a policy based on the existing policy. So it's a default configuration and the category is general. I am just going to configure uh, the, the category general for the McAfee agent. So I need to enter the name for the policy McAfee agent general settings I am just going to click on the OK even if you want to uh, specify some descriptions so you can specify it on the notes here is a text box and uh, I'm not going to specify anything so I'm just going to click on OK so once I click on the OK, so it is just asking that what kind of configurations you want to configure. So I will go on the McAfee agent and uh, I want to edit the McAfee underscore agent general settings which I created and uh, I need to click on the edit. In the edit, I can specify the things over here like uh, show the McAfee system tray icon. This, uh, this uh, should be checked over here because if you will not check it, so the system tray, system tray icon, McAfee system tray icon will not be visible for Windows machine. Here you can see currently product is already installed on this machine, but I cannot see the system tree icon over here because the policy is not applied for that. So I have just uh, put the check over here and policy enforcement interval. If any policy is going to be enforced, so McAfee agent will uh, enforce it the time durations which you have specified. So I'm just going to set it 60 minutes and it's a default timing. You want to change it so you can specify 180 uh, minutes or uh, five minutes. So. Uh, I have just specified five, five minutes. Now, allow, uh, there are some uh, sub, uh, sub options for the show the McAfee system tray icon. Allow end users to update security from the McAfee system tray icon. If you want to allow the end users, suppose if you have installed the McAfee agent on the client machines where multiple users are working. So if you want to allow the end users to uh, to update the security from the McAfee system tree menu so users can update their product um, from McAfee agent. So if you want to block it, so just you can uncheck it. But uh, I suggest you to just allow it because sometimes if you will ask the user to put the, uh, to click on the update option so users can update and policy will be uh, reflected as soon as possible. So I have just selected it and uh, enable McAfee system tray 
I can in a remote desktop session. Even I suggest you to put the check over here as well. In case if you are taking the machine on the remote session, so McAfee system, uh, McAfee agent uh, tray will not be visible on the client machine. So always select these two uh, two options as well. This is uh, a recommendations only, but if you don't want, so you can uncheck it. And run agent processes at lower CPU priority. In case users are working on very heavy files or uh, uh, applications, so McAfee agent will not uh, interrupt their uh, process utilizations of the product or of the applications. So I suggest just put the check uh, on this and enable self protection win uh, windows. It is just on windows only. So you can enable it or disable it as per your requirement. Now uh, reboot options after product deployment. Suppose if you are deploying some product from the McAfee dashboard to, the, to their client machines, so it will uh, uh, either you want to prompt users when a reboot is required, sometimes some applications require a reboot, then only the products which you have deployed through the McAfee MVision Cloud dashboard will be reflected. So you can uh, put the check over here, prompt users when a reboot is required, force automatic reboot after. In case if user is not rebooting the machine, so in that case, you can just specify the time frame when machines will be automatically rebooted. So this is the default time, 60 minutes, but you can change it as per your requirement. Now, agent server communications. Agent server communications interval is 60 minutes. It will uh, communicate from the server. Suppose if, if any policies or any updates are uh, available on the dashboard, McAfee MVision dashboard. So it will communicate with the server and it will send a heartbeat to the uh, McAfee MVision dashboard. So it will take the updates for their products as well as for other uh, products. So this is the uh, default options which is selected, but if you don't want, you can uncheck it. So uh, once you will click on the this option, so agent and server com communications will be started and it will, the interval will be 60 minutes. Initial agent to server communications within 10 minutes after startup, if policies are older than one day, you can change it as well. Currently, we have seen only the general options. In the next uh, videos or in the next uh, next uh, policy, we will see how we can configure these other options as well. So once you have made the changes over here, so after that you need to click on the save options. So I click on the save option. Uh, once I saved it, so I need to assign this policy to the uh, system tree or system tree group where systems are exist. So I'm just going to click on the system tree. And in the system tree, because I just want to assign this policy, McAfee agent product policy on the my organizations group. So I will select the my organizations group and I will click on the policies. In the policies, I need to select the product over here. So I have just selected McAfee agent. And in the McAfee agent, because this is the default policy configured uh, earlier by the McAfee, uh, McAfee MVision dashboard when you have configured. So I need to change the policy over here. The policy which we have created that needs to be selected over here. So uh, click on the edit assignment. In the edit assignment, uh, I'm just going to click on the break, break inheritance and assign the policy and settings below. So policy which I want to assign, so I need to click on the assigned policy list over here. I just selected this one and unlocked allow breaking inheritance below this point. Uh, so the system or the groups which is coming inside the organizations group that will also applied. So I'm just going to click on the save because I have just already selected the policy from the list uh, which we have created. Now I need to click on the save option. 
uh, once I click on the save option so now we can see McAfee general policy is McAfee underscore agent general which which is custom uh, we have created the policy now click on the system and uh, select the agent now run the wake up agent now we need to wait for a while and click on the OK so on the next communications we will see the McAfee agent uh, tray icon will come over here currently it's not visible now see the policy is reflected and the agent is coming uh, pro in the proper way now uh, in the McAfee agent we can see the product which is installed and uh, configured over here even you can update the product by clicking on the McAfee update security see the, this is just loading the policies and updating the, the products from the McAfee MVision cloud server to the client machine so this is the way which you can follow to uh, to show the McAfee agent uh, system tree icon uh, McAfee agent icon on the client machine and you can uh, perform all the activity related with, with the McAfee agent like you can see the McAfee endpoint product versions and server configurations IP addresses port addresses and all so this is the way to creating the uh, McAfee general McAfee agent general policy through the McAfee MVision cloud thank you for watching this video